Now let's talk about ideal model voltage sources or batteries. Now these are drawn something like this, this side being the higher voltage, that side the lower voltage, or you can draw it as a circle with a plus and a minus for the high and the low voltage. Now, in our simple model, a vol a, one of these sources, a battery, is purely a voltage source, not a current source. That's something people get, often get wrong. So basically, it means that there's going to be a higher voltage on this side than that side by the specified amount. Like if it's a 1.5 volt battery, the voltage on this side will be one and a half volts more than that one. And in an ideal situation, it doesn't matter what else it's connected to. You always get that same voltage difference. So let's say we connect this to a resistor. If it's a big resistor, there'll be a small current, but still the same voltage across there. If you have a small resistor, there'll be a very large current, but still the same voltage. If you get rid of that and just put a wire across, then this is a short circuit. In this case, technically, there'll still be the same voltage, and if it was an ideal wire, there would be an infinite current through there. Don't try this in practice. If you don't have a circuit, there's still the same voltage from there to there, but now no current is flowing. So for this ideal model voltage source, always the same voltage from one side to the other. Current could be anything, depends on what it's connected to. How realistic is that? It's okay typically for normal situations, it's not too bad. In practice, there's usually a bit of internal resistance inside your voltage source. So in fact, if you did connect it to a very low resistance, you wouldn't get quite as much current as you think because some of that voltage would be used up fighting through the internal resistance inside it. Also, if you did short circuit it, first of all, the wire is not quite a, a perfect wire, perfect conductor, so it probably will melt, but also the battery, the voltage source will probably explode or melt or do something unpleasant, so don't do this.